Okay, welcome. Welcome to the series that we've been doing. It's about how to build a house with no steps on your entry, any of your entries, zero steps. We're literally building these floor joists inside of the crawl space so that when you go from the outside of the house to the inside of the house, you're gonna have a threshold from your front door and that's it. Here in this episode number, uh, it's episode 5.4. We're going to show you how we install these eye joists. Now these eye joists are going to be a little bit different than doing a typical home because the joists do go into the crawl space. So we can literally set our eye joists on the concrete foundation like we did here so that we can drag them in and cut everything within the crawl space. It makes it really easy, it makes it really accessible and you're not hopping up and down and trying to pretty much catwalk down the foundation the whole time while holding your eye joists. First thing that we're gonna do right here after we get the eye joist down into the crawl space is I'm gonna hook it for my dad. Which side? He's gonna get a mark on his side. We went and already pre-measured our first one and really what we do is after we measure the first one we cut it we see how it fits and we usually have it short by an eighth inch a quarter inch tops no more than a quarter inch is what i really mean there and then as you go on you will notice that if your concrete wall comes out or if it shrinks down that you'll cut your next board at a different length you'll either make it longer or shorter depending on the last one you did. All right, so you're gonna notice that we skipped our first one. I'm gonna pull it back to our second one. See that? The reason why is because there in the corner that my father's in, there's gonna be HVAC that's gonna be installed there. There's gonna be a little furnished room on that front corner where it kinda of close to the garage. If you wanna check that video out, I'm gonna drop a link right here of how we're going to make those joists work. It's, it's literally the next, the next episode or the episode after. But either way, you're gonna see my father and I get into a groove here to where I pull the board on, then I pull the tape over, he marks it, then he uses his square to mark it again, and then He'll cut it. We'll pick it up. We'll walk it over to its spot. Drop it in. We'll both stick one toenail on each side. We just use 16 penny smooth shank nails. After we shoot both sides, my father goes to the center. He shoots the center one in. You'll notice, one thing you're going to notice with these eye joists is that we crown them up. Here in a minute, I'm going to show you that I'm going to Hold the eye joist down at the center if that crown is so high that the joist doesn't want to touch the wall. Because we know our walls are perfectly plumb from what we did earlier when we put that center pony wall in. Okay, so now he's done with his cut. He's going to check for crown. And we'll pick it up, take it over into place. Crown up every time. Yeah. I'm touching over here. Another quick link I'm going to drop right here. I'm going to show why we have our nail position the way it is and why we only do one nail. Sometimes we'll do two, but we position our nails in a very specific way to make sure that we don't split the eye joist. Here's a few little clips of how we deal with eye joists that have really big crown. Because, yeah, you want your crown up. 
but also sometimes the crown is a lot. So I will literally get on top of the eye joist and he'll stick two shots into it to try to pin that down and keep it into place. Ow. What's also good about these is all these are perfectly on layout from us doing the layout earlier on another episode. All right, so here's the cutter's point of view. You're gonna hook your tape. You're gonna try to keep your tape all the way across to sit right on top of that joist. You're gonna mark it on both sides. You're gonna push your square over a little bit. You're gonna get your cut on your first mark. Make sure you cut straight all the way through, and then when you get to your second mark, make sure it's still lined up on that mark. Now we're gonna pick it up and drop into place like normal. Now there's gonna be a gap on each end. Me and my dad communicate the whole time, every time we drop on a board anyway, to make sure that we have close to the same gap. Also, you're going to notice that we're not cutting both sides of the joist. The reason we're not cutting both sides of the joist is because the joists are down into the foundation. And having a gap is not a problem. There's no issue with that. It makes it so the house can expand and contract and it's not getting smushed up anywhere as time goes on. You're also going to notice that we're not going to be putting any eye joist blocking down the center wall. The reason why is because when we put our sheeting on top, it's going to be tied into the concrete foundation with green plate on the very top. It's literally going to have nowhere that it can go. Okay, so now we're moving on towards the more front side of the house. We have to use our 100 foot tape because it's the only thing long enough that we have to mark it. When you go to tape it, don't pull your tape tight when you're getting your initial mark or it'll float. You need to let your tape sit right on that rim board all the way through so that you can get a exact mark. So either way, that's our how to install iJoyce video. Um, you're gonna see some other videos that are specifically just for iJoyce, where we like to shoot them, how we like to cut them, and more of our HVAC joist install and our crawl space cutting install as well. So we'll just keep moving along with our no step house building series. After all of those things, our main thing that we're going to do is install the sheeting for this floor. See you there.